How's it going? So I'm going to show you how I do home inspection repairs. Um, and I'm going to take you from beginning to end. So usually what happens in the beginning is I will get a one of two things. I'll get an email or a text from the real estate agent and they will send me either this inspection repair addendum. This is an old one. Um, and usually this is all contract based information of most of it stating who's going to be responsible for repairs. Um, and then down at the bottom, there will be a list of repairs that they want done. So in this case, you can see the ones that are on here. I've done hundreds of these over the years. Um, and normally, unless it's something that requires um, a licensed plumber or a licensed you know, electrician or something, I will give them a bid for everything that's in this repair addendum. And if they want me to, I've got subs that I use for those items and I can get, you know, I can be the one-stop shop for everything on this list. Um, so in this case, usually they'll send me this and then they'll also send me um, one of two things, either an entire home inspection or just the list of repairs, which is usually an excerpt from the home inspection that just points out the items that need to be repaired. Um, so I'll get usually both of them, um, but uh, it's all based off of the wording in this document here, at least in my area. These um, repair addendums are what the buyer or seller is requiring to be done to the house prior to them purchasing it. So, so when I get that, I will go through it. Usually the owner, the seller or buyer, uh, usually it's the buyer, will go through and put down specifically, um, sometimes the home inspectors are pointed out, sometimes the, the actual buyer will point out the items that they want a contractor to do and the items that they specifically want a licensed electrician or a licensed plumber to do. Um, so I'll go through and just highlight the ones that are mine and then I will do a bid based on those. Um, and when you first start doing these, you probably won't be able to do like I do and just look through this list. I've, like I said, I've done hundreds of them, so I can usually look at what they have on here and know already what the cost is going to be. Every once in a while, I'll still need to show up to look at something just because I don't understand the wording of the home inspector. Uh, but a vast majority of the time, I can look through the list and give them a pretty close estimate based off the home inspection repair list. So. So another thing that happens on these is sometimes um, the deal can really be made or, uh, or broken based off what's on this repair list. Um, so in my area, there's a lot of foundation issues, um, a lot of houses built on hills, there's a lot of rock in the area. Um, foundations start sliding, getting cracked, and you can have foundation repairs that run 10, 20, $50,000 depending on how bad the damage is. Um, so this inspection I'm going to take you through from beginning to end is one I got here recently that I'm going to be starting on this evening. This had some major foundation issues. Um, the area that it's built in, probably every house over there has foundation problems. So the there's several items in here I'm not bidding on uh, or that I didn't bid on. And the uh, ones highlighted in blue were the ones that we go over. Um, and the other thing that can happen is when you give them a full estimate based off this list of items they want done, you may send it to them and they decide that they're only going to cover X number and they want the buyer or the seller to handle the other repairs. So a lot of times these estimates will end up turning into two estimates, one that's given to the buyer and one that's given to the seller. Uh, another thing to think about is work. once you get a relationship established with, with your uh, real estate agent, sometimes the buyer or seller will pay for them all at once. So usually if the buyer or the seller is going to handle it, they'll, they may cut you a check prior to the sale of the house. So you'll come in, repair everything that's on the list or the items that they want repaired. 
and then you don't have to worry about it at that point because you're paid and walking out the door. Other times, it can be handled to where it's going to be split and you get a check cut from the title company. So when they close on the sale of the house, you will get a check cut from the title company that's sent directly to you. And another way, which is the way this one's going to work, is part of it's handled by the sellers, and that's going to be cut to me from the title company, and the other half is handled by the buyers, and they're going to cut me a separate check when I get done with the repairs. So know that ahead of time before you walk into one of these. The uh, If you're not aware beforehand, uh, ask your agent how you're going to be paid for them because um, it could depend.